Hello, my name is Bilal uh, Sukkar. In this uh, video, I'm going to introduce uh, diffusion dynamics model or macro adoption model C. This model is one of five macro adoption models. If you like uh, to review all five, please refer to the introductory uh, video uh, using the video link at the bottom right. Adoption models uh, research has been published in collaboration with Dr. Muhammad Qasim. From Eastside University. So what is a diffusion dynamics model? Uh, this model clarifies how BIM diffuses uh, across a market and it does that by identifying something called dynamics and pressure mechanisms and pressure types. So I'll explain these shortly. So how does BIM diffuse across a market? Uh, let's look first at uh, the major diffusion dynamics. Uh, if we look at uh, a market uh, government within a market, an authority, uh, typically diffusion dynamic uh, force by a government is typically referred to as a top-down uh, diffusion dynamic, while a, a diffusion which is led by small organizations is typically referred to as a bottom-up diffusion dynamic. One missing dynamic often um, not mentioned or not identified is a the one which happens more often actually, is, uh, is the, the fusion uh, led by large organizations, associations, uh, departments, which uh, we refer to this as middle out diffusion dynamics. Let's drill down into these diffusion dynamics a bit uh, more. So how does these diffusion um, you know, dynamics or how does BIM diffuse across market? And here we're gonna look at the, the pressure mechanisms and types. So if we look again at uh, government and large organizations, uh, typically the diffusion dynamic is a downward uh, pressure. It's a combination of pressures, so it's starting with a downward pressure, which is referred to as a coercive pressure. This is where a government mandates uh, certain processes and systems to be adopted by industry, or large organizations also mandate through protocols, standards, or just by, by their uh, financial, uh, uh, you know, power within the marketplace that smaller players within the market adopt their protocols and standards or adopt their systems and processes. Another dynamic or another uh, mechanism is the upward pressure which occurs in the opposite direction. This is where uh, there's an upward pressure happening from the smaller organizations below which really, uh, let's say, they discover an innovative process uh, uh, or approach and, and then it becomes normalized. and uh, over time it becomes the best approach or, or the recommended practice and this type of uh, mechanism is called the normative pressure meaning something becomes normal uh, or becomes the norm and this is where larger players within the market uh, whether it's large organization or even the government uh, would uh, adopt this or will, 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 will uh, will facilitate the diffusion of that uh, system process because it became the norm or the best practice. A third mechanism is the horizontal pressure or, or which is uh, referred to as the mimetic pressure or, or imitation. And this is where different uh, sized players, whether they are governments or large organizations or small organizations imitate each other. So when one player adopts a, a certain innovative uh, or productive efficient uh, system or process, and uh, other players within the same group, let's say, uh, also uh, see see the value of that uh, and uh, imitate them. This happens with, between small organizations. It also happens between you know large organization and, and also between governments. And this is very evident in the in the current uh, market where governments are starting to imitate each other with regards to him uh, diffusion policies. And this, this table here summarizes all these dynamics, mechanisms, and types. So you've got the top down, which includes both a downward and a horizontal mechanism of the types coercive, normative, and mimetic. Middle out if, uh, with large organizations or industry associations, which exert downward, upward, and horizontal pressures. And finally, bottom up with small organizations exert upward and horizontal pressures. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about this model and other macro adoption models, please refer to the macro BIM adoption conceptual structures by following the link here. And also, if you want to refer back to the introductory video, and please remember to subscribe.